everyone and welcome back to my channel. I've gone a little skirt and short crazy at the moment. Usually I can't find styles that kind of suit my body. So I went a long time without buying any skirts or shorts or anything like that. But I feel like with the way that the trends are going at the moment, I'm just finally able to find some ones that are flattering to my body and my curves and everything. I have a really small waist and I store all of my fat in my thigh area. I store it in my butt so I've got like a nice butt from side on. I usually find that everything's too big around my waist or too small around my legs. I don't like styles that are too short that show off all of my cellulite. I'm just not confident enough to wear stuff that kind of shows off my cellulite. Now these stuff show off a little bit but I feel confident in them because the rest of like the way they fit is really nice. So yeah, I quite like them. These are styles that I think work really well. So if you can't get these exact ones, look for styles like this and I think that they are quite complimentary. Personally, I quite like putting on the clothes and talking to you guys about them while they're on. Here at my house at the moment, I just don't have like a space where that works really well because it's just too echoey or whatever. So I thought that you guys will actually be able to hear what I'm saying more so here and I can just insert over the top the outfit, you know, just here. But if you like me talking about the styles like I did in my haul video, I'll link it in a card here. If you like that one where I was kind of, you know, having it on, talking to you guys about what I thought, let me know because I can try and set up a space or get a different kind of microphone maybe that won't like bounce the sound around as much or something. I'm not too sure. It might not be for a little while because we're basically moving out. All of our furniture has to go out. We're doing the floors. The carpet's getting ripped up. They're polishing the floorboards. We won't be able to come in here for a while. Then I'm up and back between Sydney. So I'm not going to be able to set up the room properly or anything, but it's going to look a lot nicer, which is really nice. Um, Adam actually did ask me if he could use my filming room for his little man cave. He wants to have like his couch and his TV setup and it means that instead of the lounge room I would have my filming and my office so my two separate rooms I would have in the lounge room and I was so tempted you guys I just I was like seeing it like it would look so beautiful and so amazing especially when there's the floorboards in there it would be so so good unfortunately it's the only room in the house with a heater though and in winter because I have a really really old house like the house that we live in is like the double brick so it gets really 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 cold in winter and the lounge room is next to our bedroom so I can shut all the other doors have the heater on and it will kind of like warm up the front half of the house and our bedroom because otherwise like you're under under the blanket and everything but your face is still freezing like the air just gets so so cold and I thought if I'm going to be doing that to let the, the heat come out and warm up the rest of the house a little bit it's just not good to have you know my makeup in a room like that it's going to just go bad constantly going really hot in there because obviously that room that's where the heater is it's going to get a lot hotter I was so tempted you guys though there's like a gas heater and if we wanted to just run like an electric heater or whatever in our room separate it would just like be really really expensive I'm so sad like it would look so so amazing like I want to make that trade so bad tell me guys am I being silly should I just take the room and just say goodbye to having a heater I don't know I don't know I don't know it would be so nice though but yeah, if you guys like seeing these kind of try on videos let me know thumbs it up support this video and it helps me know that you guys like seeing it leave me a beautiful comment I always try to reply to you guys and of course subscribe so yeah, let's jump in. So it seems at the moment my favorite shops seem to be Witchery, Sports Girl, and Alley. Alley is very, very hit and miss. I went into one of the stores and there was like nothing that I liked there. Then I went online and they had so many more things that like I just knew that I wanted. So they're just very hit and miss. Not all the stores kind of carry the same stock. Some are really, really small. So yeah, I don't know. Wasn't too much of a fan of that when I went into the store. I was very disappointed. But then when I went online, I was like, oh my God, so much better. Sports Girl has some really nice styles at the moment. You guys saw in my last haul, I got the beautiful lace kimono. So nice. And then, yeah, a couple things from Witchery. So the Witchery ones are obviously probably the most expensive. Ellie is the least expensive. Sport Girl sits right in the middle. But all these styles, even if you can't get the brands overseas, if you're watching this, these kind of styles are the ones that I like to go for, so maybe keep an eye out. I also made today a big Fashion Nova haul, so I will be doing a try on haul when all of that comes. So let me know if you want to see that, because when it comes, you know, I've got a few other videos on the go. Let me know if you want to see that one, and I can kind of prioritize it. So let's do Sports Girl first. This is the first one. It is a pink midi skirt. It has a slip underneath. 
and then so it's like kind of a mini skirt but then over the top it has another layer it's quite see-through which I think is why they did the you know other one underneath it does actually have pockets but I wouldn't put anything in pockets when they're this kind of material because it's not going to look very flattering it is pretty decent quality but it is not as good quality as a very very similar skirt that I got from witchery but a pink kind of skirt like this like light colors I'm not probably going to be able to wear forever because they're probably going to get a bit gross more quickly because I'm not a very careful person but yeah this I got in the size 8 because it has the like elastic waistband it's a very flowy style so yeah usually I probably would have got a 10 to 12 but yeah I got the 8 in this so it is a tiny little waistband like as in this is thinner and it just sits at the waist and it's a beautiful midi skirt it flows out nicely I get a lot of compliments when I wear this and when I say when I wear this I think I've worn it maybe twice and I've got a lot of compliments so yeah, I really, really like this skirt. I love the color. I'm all about like pinks and everything. Like, ugh. Now that skirt, the style that it was, when I searched on the Sports Girl website, they also came up with these shorts. So these shorts are like a normal shorter short. They have the little ruffle trim on the bottoms. And I thought when I saw, you know, that skirt and I'm like, yep, that style will look really nice. I may as well try the shorts. I'm not gonna lie, they kind of look like pajama shorts, but because they have this little ruffle bit, when they ride up, they're like a bit short for what I'd normally wear, but when they're right up, this like little flouncy bit sits over like my fat. So I feel a little bit more confident in that. I wore these with the lace kimono the other day and I thought I like, I really liked it. So yeah, as I said, they're a bit short for what I normally would wear. But when I wore it with the longer kind of kimono over the top, I felt a lot more confident, especially with this like little ruffle at the bottom. It just kind of stopped it from like bunching up and looking funny, like it bunched up, but then it still kind of like poofed out. So it didn't look obvious that it was bunching up. You guys know if you got some thick thighs that as soon as you take two steps and stuff, it just kind of slides up towards your vagina. So next let's do Ali. This is a size 10 Australian 6 US. So it says that on there. It is a yellow wrap skirt. Now it looks kind of like a mess here because it is a wrap skirt. So it literally just wraps around you. So it's basically kind of like a sarong. It's just a really nice kind of yellow with a, a faint white design. It's quite a small print. So it's not super obvious from a distance. It looks yellow, but yeah, I think it's a really nice color. I wouldn't usually wear probably yellow too much around like my top half because I don't think it like looks nice next to my face. But with a white top or a nude top or a black top or whatever top you like, I think that the yellow skirt looks really nice. I think it looks really, really flattering because it is a wrap. You can really make it cinched at your waist and it just like skims over all of the curves and all of the lumps and bumps. And it just makes you really small where you are really small and like, you know, doesn't cling to areas where you don't want clinging. I got this navy wrap skirt next. Now this one isn't quite as flattering. It just, I don't know, I think that maybe if you weren't as curvy, this would kind of look better on you and emphasize and, you know, make it look like you've got a bit more curves. But for me, it was just like a bit boxy. It just kind of didn't really go in and flowy enough. It was more of like a straight kind of wrap style skirt. So I didn't love it too much, but I would still probably wear it for the right occasion, right outfit or something. It's like a nice length where it's not a midi, but it's not a mini. It's just like a normal kind of skirt. So I do like that for something a little bit different. Lastly from Ali, this is the one that I haven't tried on. I don't know if I love this one too much, but I had a skirt from Ali that was this color ages ago, but it was just so old. Like it was time to get thrown out. Um, this is size eight and this is why I don't think I've tried it on yet because like, I don't know. I just, they didn't have the 10 and I was like, let's just try the eight because I thought like, you know, since it's the waist is smaller, I should be okay because the rest is really flowy. It does have some splits throughout it as well. It looks very, 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 very see-through, but there is a slip underneath, like a mini slip at the top to kind of stop people from seeing your butts. And yeah, right at the front, it has this like lace-up detail and everything. And the back, it is like very, very stretchy. Hopefully it looks good. You guys are gonna know like what, like, what it looks like. So let me know because yeah, I don't know yet. <laughs> And the last two are from Witchery. Now I did show you guys these in my must-haves for curvy body shapes. This skirt is very similar to the pink midi skirt, except for it is a bit better quality. It isn't quite as see-through and the waistband is thicker. It's like about double the thickness. This is really, really nice. You can dress this up, dress this down. I really like this skirt. Full price, it was $120, but I got money off 
with my first order because I ordered this one online. Yeah, I got the size 8 in that again because it's super, super stretchy and it's one of those really flowy materials. So you can definitely size down. And then I also got these little shorts. So these are little khaki shorts. It has an elasticated waistband, but it does also have that you know tie front so you can cinch it in even more this one is a size 10 now when I tried it on the 8 it did fit me but it wasn't super flattering now I think this is where a lot of people make a mistake just because something fits you doesn't mean that that's the right size for you personally I don't care what size I am in something as long as it looks good and makes me feel confident if something's like tight and clingy and I don't feel confident in it you know I'm not gonna wear it. I'm gonna feel 10 sizes bigger than what I am but if I just take a bigger size or sometimes a smaller size depending on what kind of style you're trying it's just going to look a lot better on your body so I don't think it's really fair for someone to say like I'm a size x like whatever size because all the different brands run different sizes different shapes are going to need different sizes and everything like that which is why I kind of threw that in there I have a lot of size 12 10s and 8s I've got extra small smalls mediums larges that all fit me because it's just it's just very dependent on the brand and everything um, and the style of course as well so never feel bad if you have to go up a size I always bring two sizes of everything to the change rooms just so I can see what one looks better on me but yeah that's just my little tip as well don't feel bad if you have to size up anyway guys let me know what your favorites were down below don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe and we will see you all in the next video bye